it's Sammy. I'm going to be doing um, Jane Mansfield for my Iconic Blonde series next. Um, she is amazingly beautiful and she died kind of quite tragically at quite a young age in a car accident and the rumour has it that she was decapitated. Whether or not that's true I have no idea. But, um, so she got left in Marilyn Monroe's shadows quite a bit, I think, um, and she doesn't deserve that at all. She was beautiful and apparently incredibly, incredibly smart as well. So I thought I'd do kind of a homage to her and do her makeup look. The, her makeup look is similar to that of kind of 1950s, um, pin-up looks and kind of Marilyn Monroe's look as well. But hers was, um, I think a little bit fresher, um, kind of peachy. There's a lot of pictures of her with um, kind of very peachy lipstick and peachy cheeks um, or pink so it wasn't quite as dramatic with the super red lips. She did wear them as well but that wasn't really her signature style. Hers was more of um, kind of a tanned California girl of the era. Without further ado, let's get started. So for this look I want a little bit more coverage um, for my face so I'm going to use a um, Scott Barnes Cream Foundation. Uh, this is in a Beyond Beige colour and I am just going to use it with my MAC 187 brush. And what I like to do with a cream foundation is literally I just stipple the brush in it and then apply it with kind of circular movements. And kind of around the nose I switch to the MAC 130 and kind of in areas where I want to get um, really kind of close. As a concealer I'm using my Vichy Dermablend uh, Corrective Foundation but this is kind of doubles up as a concealer because it's so thick and um, I'm actually probably at 25 but I don't have that shade because I kind of tend to buy um, like a 15, 35, 55, I don't buy every shade, I just mix them up. So I'm going to put a little bit of 35 and then mix it with a tiny, tiny bit of um, 15 on the back of my hand to get the perfect shade to match my skin. And then I'm just going to use my um, MAC 224 and blend the two colours on the back of my hand and then use that as a concealer. Now because it's not a heavy concealer, you can use it on larger areas as well. Under my eyes, I'm going to use a Bobbi Brown Warm Beige. Now I've decanted it into this little palette, but it's essentially just an under eye concealer. It's quite creamy. And I'm gonna keep using the same brush I just used. and go into the inner corner of the eye as well and just blend. I'm going to set it all with my MAC um, Skin Finish Natural in a medium and I'm just going to use a big powder brush. This is the Sigma F20. And I like to first kind of pat it on and then brush it off. I'm going to do things in a slightly different order today. So I'm going to do a little bit of contouring and blush before the eyes. I'm using a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in a dark to contour. And I'm also using my um, Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush in an F40. So I'm just going to put a little bit under my cheekbones. And really blending it into the hairline and then I'm also taking it to the forehead. Jane Mansfield most of the time looked like she had um, quite a tan on so we're kind of not really darkening up but um, you know just warming up the complexion a bit. I've got Paris kind of winter pale skin right now. Then as blusher I am going to use a uh, MAC Melba, which is a matte kind of peachy blush, and I'm using my MAC 116 um, blush brush. I'm 
I've already primed my eyes with um, Urban Decay Primer Potion, so we're going to go straight onto the eyeshadow, which is actually really, really simple. So I'm going to use um, Brulee, which is an off-white kind of bone colour, and I'm going to use my MAC 227 brush, which is huge, and it kind of puts colour, a lot of colour down quickly. And I'm going to do my whole eyelid all the way up to my eyebrow. And I'm going to take my MAC 217 and use Cork, which is kind of like a warm uh, light brown. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that in the crease. And then just blend it out on both sides. Then I'm going to take Samoa Silk, which is a peachy color and my Sigma E35 tapered blending brush which is kind of almost the same as um, your MAC 217, it's just a little bit bigger if you can kind of see the difference and I'm going to blend out, so I'm going to take some of this on the brush and just with the peachy colour I'm just going to blend the crease colour we put down I'll then line my eyes. I'm using my matte black track and I'm also using my Inglot 11S liner brush. Now the liner is, you know, it does wing out in um, kind of a 1950s, 60s style, but it's not horribly um, thick. It's actually quite a um, nice thin line. So start off in the middle and get it really into the roots and then slowly move to the inner corner, towards the inner corner of the eye. And then towards the outer corner. And then wing it out once you get out to the outer corner. And looks kind of look straight in the mirror to just make sure that the wing is going where you want it to go. I'm going to thicken up the line a little bit. And for the lower lash line we're actually not going to do very much but I'm going to use my MAC Stubborn Brown pencil and I'm just going to kind of smudge it into the lash line but not really line my eyes, more just like a little bit of smudging. So you kind of run it across your lashes but just to get more into the root of the lashes as opposed to kind of drawing a line under. And then if you want, you just um, soften it with a little Q-tip. I'll then curl my lashes using my Shumura Lash Curler. My current favourite, the YSL um, Shocking Mascara and apply quite a lot on the top lashes, not so much at the bottom. I'm then going to apply some individual fake lashes. These are Dura Lash by Ardell and I'm using my Duo Lash Glue. So what I like to do is I just put a little bit of um, the glue kind of on the back of my hand and then using tweezers just pick one up kind of dip the end into the glue let it dry for a bit and then just kind of put it as close to your own lashes as possible. And you can kind of angle it a little bit with your fingers. So I'm going to put maybe three or four in each eye towards the um, outer corners and then working um, my way in.
Now, while the lashes are drying, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to use Laura Mercier's um, Brow Definer in a Fair, and it's like an eyebrow wax, and I'm going to use it with my uh, MAC 266 <laughs> angled liner. And I am going to try and kind of... Um, I'm going to make my eyebrows longer, but also rounder, because she had... Um, quite a long round shape in her brows. And just on top of that, I'm gonna add a little bit of um, Urban Decay Buck from the Naked palette. Because in um, pictures of her, her eye brow color is quite warm. Then it goes to black when it goes kind of like um, towards the really latter part of her life. But I really like it that there's kind of like a really warm brown on. And so I'm just going to add a little bit of it on top. I'm then gonna add a little bit more mascara just to kind of um, mix my lashes in with the individual fake lashes. And try and be careful here so that they don't come off. So put your finger on your eye lid and then just kind of brush all of these together. And just be really careful. Then we'll do the lips. Now her lips were quite full and also um, she didn't really have much of a cupid's bow so we're gonna kind of straighten out any um, semblance of a cupid's bow. And I'm actually gonna use a, a pencil that really matches my own lip color. This is the Urban Decay 24 seven uh, pencil in Wallflower. So it's kind of a neutral, uh, very neutral, but lip color neutral, not as in pale. Um, color and I'm just going to line my lips and I'm going to start by kind of making my cupid's bow disappear. I'm then going to use my cargo reverse lip liner in a number two and I'm just going to kind of go um, on my top lip just to kind of make sure that it looks like I don't have um, quite a defined cupid's bow, which I do. I'm then gonna use two different lipsticks. I'm going to use um, MAC Morange, which is like a really bright orangey lipstick. And then I'm also going to use uh, YSL Rouge Volupte in A30 which is a super pretty peach. And I'm gonna start off with the Morange. Uh, I'm just using my Space & K, this is actually a concealer brush, but I often end up using concealer brushes for um, lipstick anyways, because they're um, synthetic, so they work brilliantly. And the Morange, I am going to put kind of in the outer corners and then work uh, my way towards the center. And then for the center of the lips, I'm going to use the lighter peachy color. I think together these give such a um, nice kind of vintagey coral effect. So you use this one in the center of the lips and then kind of blend it in with the um, darker, brighter color. And that's the look finished. Um, I'm gonna undo my hair. So that's the look finished. Um, it's um, quite retro, uh, it's kind of late 50s -y, and um, I kind of, I really like Jane Mansfield, I feel like um, 
she doesn't get enough credit um, at all. Um, she kind of gets uh, left in the shadows of uh, Marilyn Monroe and the likes. So I hope you like the look and I'll see you again next time. Bye.